Hey guys, how's it going? This is Riot Ralph, and today I'm going to bring you another how-to. This time it's going to be on how to um, enable, or how to get into safe mode in Windows 10. Now, a lot of people are mad because normally in, in Windows, well, for like the past like 20 years, to get into safe mode on Windows was really simple, right? When you're rebooting before it loads Windows, you you, you tap F8 a bunch of times or shift F8 or whatever and it brings you in safe mode for some reason I don't know why and it doesn't make any sense to me they they took that out of 10 and it was actually taken out of 8 too because I was an avid user of 8 um, and that wasn't it was the same way in 8 so yeah it was kind of an issue um, it was all, now here's the thing if there's a trick to it the simple trick is if your machine's not booting okay into Windows for some reason. If you turn it on and off, like if you turn it on, let it post to BIOS and then turn it off and then, and, you know, like hard reset and you do that and you hard reset it uh, a bunch of times, it should eventually, uh, Windows 8 and 10 will eventually pop up with a recovery option that you can then get into safe mode from there. But that's that's a little trick, although it's like like I said, it's not um, it's not practical. So what I'm going to do is show you how to um, make it so that you can you can select you uh, uh, every time you boot up your machine. Th this is the down draw to it. Is every time you boot it up, you'll get a window that pops up, and it will ask you what operating system to pick, and you have to pick 10 or um, or safe mode. So it won't boot directly into 10 once you do this. So it can be annoying because of that, but at the same time, and I, think, I think it's a good thing because then if something does happen, then you have easy access to safe mode and you don't have to thumble around and, and mess around and try to get into it, which is something that should have already been there in the first place. And you shouldn't have to do this to get, to get it there, but either way, this is the way to do it. So what you want to do is um, you can get around this, and what you want to do is the first thing you want to do I'm going to close this to show you how to do it. So you want to press uh, Windows key and X. I don't know why it's actually showing up over there and not over here. Um, I have two monitors, guys, and for some reason... That's weird. It should be right here. Okay. Okay, so when you hit Control X, now it's showing up on the first monitor. That was weird because I have the I have the taskbar and everything disabled over there, so I don't know why I was doing that. That's Windows 10 for you. So okay, so you press Windows key and X, and you get this right. Out of here, you want to select uh, Command Prompt Admin. So you open that up. There we go. So yeah, you just want to paste that in, hit Enter, or you can type it in. Either way, it will be in the video description. And now, what that's going to do is, I'll show you. So now that we've done that, you're going to want to run. Um, okay. So now you want to print the Windows key R and type in MS config. Okay. When you get here, you want to go to the startup tab, or no. I'm sorry, you want to go to the boot tab. And now you can see that you have this. Now what's going what this basically means is you want to select this. You're not done yet. So you want to hit safe boot and then you want network. So this will be 10 safe mode with networking. You can go ahead and as you can see is you can go back to this and repeat the steps and create different safe modes. You can create one that has networking one with just minimal without networking um, you can even do more of that but yeah you you can go through and create all the different types of safe modes you want for me personally I don't need to call it with networking I'm just gonna call it safe mode and it will have network access um, and that's pretty much all I need personally and um, of course if you if you decide that you don't like um, if you decide that you do not like the um, when you restart the computer once you apply this like I said it's going to give you an option you, you have to pick something to boot into every time um, so it is kind of, that is kind of annoying 
but again, it's still nice to have this just as a fail safe. So you've got this set up now. And now if something does run wrong, wrong and, and you can't get into Windows and you need to get into safe mode to fix that, you can do that simply without a hassle or a headache. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it, guys. And of course, if you don't like that, you can come back here and delete it if you, if you don't like that thing popping up every time you boot up the machine before it loads into Windows. Um, that is a choice, too. You can just delete it. Anyway, I wanted to share this with you guys because I have seen several, and I mean several counts of people who actually fought me on the fact that there was no way to get into safe mode without because uh, normally what people think is the only way to do it is to go into here and go to shut and hold down you hold down left shift as you go here you go to power and then you hold down left shift and as you click on shutdown you you're holding down left shift and if you hold down left shift when you click on shutdown here it will actually reboot the machine into safe mode but I have seen countless countless arguments on the fact that that's the only way to do it and I keep telling people no you can do it this way you can do it this way this is how you do it and they're like no 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 and they've sent me you know they'll, they'll show me like 15 websites that say no you can't do it at all and and I'm like yeah because you know you should believe everything a fucking website tells you uh, no you should not that's my whole point um, and this is to prove those people I'm going to be um, I mean this is for everybody I want to help everybody but but I did want to prove to people that and show them no matter how ignorant they choose to be that yes if you stop being ignorant and, and, and you pay attention you can actually boot in safe mode in Windows 10 and this will work on Windows 8 too just so you know in Windows 8 and 10 without initiating it in Windows beforehand so yes you can do it should you have to go through these steps uh, in order to do it, no, you should not. I, I I totally agree with their frustration. You know, it should not have been taken out um, as a hotkey before loading up Windows. It was just that's ridiculous. Um, aside the fact, you can see how simple it is. It took me like two minutes to do this. Anybody can do it. It's super fast, super simple. Um, and yeah, it's 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 um that's what it is it's super simple so aside the fact that it should have been there at least this is an easy way to do it so anyway um, I hope I've showed you guys how to do you know how to do this properly I hope you guys appreciate it um, as always please like subscribe favorite it really helps me out a lot and since I like helping you guys out a lot you know it's kind of a uh, you know I do you a thing you do me a thing so yeah thanks for the uh, thanks for the viewership everybody and I'll see you in the next one